So, Hunter, obviously you made a good impression on the Miami Dolphins during the Senior Bowl. Yes, what sir. do you think it was that that really caught their their eye? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if there's one particular thing. I think uh, I went down there and I was able to show what I could do and, and build connections with all the coaches. And um, obviously I was able to talk with all them throughout the week. And I, it, was a, it was an awesome week for me. And um obviously I, I i built i built great connections with them so i don't know if there's one thing that really stood out <laughs> i guess they could probably tell you that but um i just it was awesome getting to know them down there and, and it was a fun week josh hey hunter how's it going man um good how are you good good um brian flores you know we just finished talking talking to him and he was you know talking you up sharing um you know thoughts on you guys um in a school, can you talk a little bit about, I guess, the, the Boston College program and, um, you know, following up on Omar's question on, on, on any interactions that you can share that you might have had with uh, Brian that were memorable um, from the senior bowl? Because obviously, you know, that left a, a pretty good impression on them. Yeah, um, obviously, the, the BC program is known as being a hard nosed, tough program, and um, it, it breeds guys like Coach Flores, and he's, he's an awesome guy. and. Uh, uh, obviously, I got to know him at the Senior Bowl a lot, and um, I don't know if there's really one moment I can share, but um, obviously throughout the week, I was able to talk to him and, and build a relationship with him, and uh, he, he was awesome down there for me. Cam? Hey, Hunter, how much did you and uh, Coach Flo talk about BC? Did y'all, you know, <laughs> us about all the food spots around the place and whatnot? Yeah, all of it, all of it. Uh, he's, he's a proud BC alum, just like I am, so. Travis. Hey, Hunter, congratulations and welcome to Miami, man. Thank um, you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I wanted to ask you about the two offenses you played at there, played at there in BC, uh, going from Steve Adazio's offense to Frank Signetti. And obviously you guys rolled up so many rushing yards there with AJ Dillon in the past. And now you go to more of a, I guess, pro style type offense. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm wondering what that did to prepare you for, you know, the versatility and the, 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 the professionalism, or I guess the job of becoming a pre professional football player and, and being a versatile player. Yeah, I always say it. I feel like I got the best of both worlds at BC with, with both offenses. Obviously, a more run-heavy offense in this past year really opened up the pass game. Um, I just think it, it allowed me to, to become a well-rounded tight end and, and work at all aspects of the position. Um, so, so I'm grateful for, for the journey I had at BC and grateful for the original coaching staff I had there and obviously this previous coaching staff. Uh, they taught me so much, and, and I feel like I was really able to build the tools that, that um, I think I, I'll, I'll need going to the next level. All right, thank you. Steve. Hey, Hunter, congratulations. Um, can, can you speak a little bit as to uh, not getting offers out of high school, how that's kind of motivated you this whole time, and what made you believe that you could get to this point and reach the NFL? Yeah, uh, I mean, like you said, I, I had no offers coming out of, out of my senior year of high school, and I had to do a fifth year of high school to, to get a couple offers, um, but, but I think it just uh, has allowed me to play with a chip on my shoulder. And um, every time I take the field, it's another chance to prove, prove the people wrong that, that didn't believe in me early on in my career. And um, it also made me have to take full advantage of the, of the few opportunities I had. Um, so it, it put some pressure on me to, to, to step up and, and be the player that I believed I could be. But it, um, it also allows me to go out on the field and, and play with that short chip. Adam? Yeah, I, I haven't looked this up, so maybe you know. Are, are you the first NFL player from Exeter? <laughs> uh, there was a – I believe there was a, someone drafted in 1907 from Exeter. But uh, of the modern era, I think I'm the first, I think I'm the first player. Um, what, what is organized football like in that part of the country? <laughs> we, we do play 11-on-11 11 11 football. Um, it's, it's not – it's obviously not the, the highest rated football in, in high school football in the country, but – um, I obviously had a great experience with it, and, and I love my, my coaches from high school and, and the guys I played with. Um, I think uh, I'm just grateful for the journey I took. I, I wouldn't want to change it for anything. Josh? Yeah, Hunter, two-part uh, question. The first is, what did you do so well last year, like, you know, that had you at finishing with those results, you know, basically leading all tight ends um, in the country statistically? And the second part is, um, what do you know about Tua? What do you know about um, the position group that you're joining? Um, Mike Kosicki, uh, Durham Smythe, Adam Shaheen. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, at BC, my, my goal each year was just to improve improve at what I what, what, what my weaknesses were, um, and, and I think I was able to do that every year there. And I, I had great teammates around me this year, and, and a great quarterback and a great staff that, that allowed me to to utilize utilize my talents to the best of my ability. Um, it, I think it was just the progression of my career, and, and it was the next step I needed to take, and and, and I was able to take it this past year. Um, and then to the second part of your question. Uh, obviously, I've watched them a lot. Obviously, I watched Coach Flores and, and, and those guys a lot. So um, I know a lot about it. I'm just excited to get down there and, and, and meet everybody and, and get to know my new teammates. Does anybody else have a question? We'll go to Steve. Hey, just some fun off the field. Um, I, I heard recently that, that you saw the Rubik's Cube in 47 seconds. <laughs> uh, I was curious how, how you got so good at that and, and what other skills do you have off the field that might surprise people? Yeah, um, I started I started solving a Rubik's Cube freshman year of college. Uh, I was just bored one day and ordered one. Uh, it kind of became a thing I did just in my free time, sitting at my desk or in bed, and uh, I got all right at it. <laughs> uh, the It was a little nerve-wracking solving it on live TV. I didn't want to mess up, but uh, it went well. And then uh, the, the other hobby I, I think people will be a little surprised at is I built computers. I, I built my first computer when I was 13 and have built a couple since, so. It's a big hobby of mine, and, and I graduated with a computer science degree from BC, so it's kind of a big part of my life. 